Lesson 103 of A Course in Miracles God, being love, is also happiness. Happiness is an attribute of love. It cannot be apart from it, nor can it be experienced where love is not. Love has no limits, being everywhere, and therefore joy is everywhere as well, yet can mind deny that this is so, believing there are gaps in love where sin can enter, bringing pain instead of joy. This strange belief would limit happiness by redefining love as limited and introducing opposition in what has no limit and no opposite. Fear is associated then with love and its results become the heritage of minds that think what they made is real. These images with no reality in truth bear witness to the fear of God, forgetting being love, he must be joy. This basic error will try again to bring to truth today and teach ourselves. Repeat after me. God, being love, is also happiness. Fear him is to be afraid of joy. Begin your longer exercises for today with this association which corrects the false belief that God is fear. also emphasizes happiness belongs to you because of what he, God, is. Allow this one correction to be placed within your minds each waking hour today. Then welcome all the happiness it brings as truth replaces fear and joy becomes what you expect to take the place of pain. God being love, it will be given you. Bolster this expectation frequently throughout the day and quiet all your fears with this assurance, kind and wholly true. God, being love, is 
also happiness. And it is happiness I seek today. I cannot fail because I seek the truth. End of lesson 103. God being love is also happiness. we can step back from trying and just simply allow what's already there to lead us into greener pastures. God being love is also happiness. express happiness because something happened. Express happiness because it's simply part of us waiting to be given. What is given will be received and what is truly received will sustain the begin just to allow yourself to feel love just say the word love and see what comes maybe just a tiny glimmer of pure genuine love that abides within you and then you simply 
gently step back and allow this love to be expressed. Yeah, love is not an idea, it's an experience. And it's more of a feeling than a thought. who you truly are. And all is required from you is to say yes to that. Yes. So now can you allow yourself to feel this love even more? What do you say? Yes. That's right. As soon as you say it, it begins to express from you. It turns into a flow. Expansion and extension. And could you allow this feeling of love even more? What do you say? That's right. And then even more. You go straight to yes. And even more. Yes. Notice how effortless this is. The less you do, the less you try, the more it flows. It's already been created and created perfect, but until it's given, it is not received. And just allow it a bit more, make sure you feel it. What appears to be the body, the learning device that can show you whether you're doing it correctly or not. You might feel a slight tingling, a flow of light, turning your body into an elevated self, the body of Christ, that's no longer dying, as it is expressing only the eternal. You might also notice that um, the feeling is expanding as if it was coming out of what you consider to be you. You allow it to go past the boundaries of what appears to be your body and it continues to extend expand 
widen. All expressions of love are maximal, but to a point to which you allow this love to flow through you. In a never-ending flow of life, begins to feel like a near life experience. And then maybe let's try joy. of the word joy and you might have a memory come of something joyous but that's not what's important what is important is that feeling that begins to be born in you to be given itself away radiate out from you just like the sun why does the son of God and sun in the sky have a same pronunciation because sun oozes out it shines and so do you you either shine or you multiply illusions by engaging in miscellaneous thinking, finding not much. So just a little glimmer of joy and then just let it be born in you, just like birth of Christ. It's the same and allow that joy more. What do you say? Yes. 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 And as you feel the subtle increase, allow yourself to feel it even more. You say, okay. And then even more, we go, yes. And even more, yes. And if that brings a smile on your face, let it be there. Allow that smile to support your expression. Because to heal is to make happy. And happiness expresses through smile, shiny face, effortless state of being. That by increase of it becomes the unbearable likeness of being. The more you give, the more you have, the more you have, the more you give, the more you give. And all it goes on and on until you fully spend this moment in complete expansion. Forever. Amen. And maybe continue on your own with the word happy or happiness. Just allow yourself to feel happiness. Or just say, could I allow?
allow myself to feel happy. And don't wait for the ego's answer. You will find a problem with this. Just say simply yes. I can allow this to flow through me through the whole sonship. And as you feel it more, ask yourself, could I allow this even more? And then you know what to say. Yes. Yeah.